This is after the show on One to One with Al Smith and a studio audience who's very, very curious about some of the things that either are in or not in the book. But this is one of the questions that's in that I have just to start off sure. tonight. Page 391 in the epilogue. And I want you to tell us, seriously, why you wrote that the autobiography of Lincoln Steffens, the story of a crusading muckraker of, uh, muck of the early 20th century, and Nat Cowell of the Nashville, Tennessean, were your two sort of heroes of, of journalism. Well, uh, Steffens was the son of a rich man, in, rich family in California, a Jewish family out west who were able to send him all over the world for an education. And he was a writer, and he came back at the turn of the century. And uh, he wrote uh, about studying ethics in one place in Germany, studying um, uh, history in another place, studying theology. So came back to the States, and he soon became a, a very notable editor in New York City. And it was the era, the progressive era, but the era of, of what Theodore Roosevelt called the muckrakers, where journalists went after corruption in, in, in the cities. And, and he sent reporters out in the, at the turn of the century to uh, uh, cities like Kansas City, to up to Tammany Hall, writing about corruption in the cities and exposing wrongdoing. And I like that stuff. I read it in one of my college semesters. I liked that book and that story. And eventually, uh, he, he, he supported a woman named Tarbell, and she wrote the history of the Standard Oil Company and a lot of it appeared in his magazines, and it broke up the Standard Oil Trust, and it was one of the greatest journalistic feats of the 20th century, done by a woman, by the way, uh, at a time when women weren't, uh, you know, weren't exactly uh, given responsible positions in journalism, and um, that was, that book meant a lot to me. Nat Caldwell I met when I was 14 years old, and living on a farm near Nashville. He was a star reporter for the Tennessean in Nashville. He had campaigned against the Boss Crump machine in Memphis. He had campaigned later about uh, corruption in the coal industry and won a Pulitzer Prize for that. My father said, now, son, he's a socialist. <laughs> like, that's a dirty word, you know. <laughs> but he's a great reporter, the best one in Tennessee. And Nat was really a mentor for me. And when I was in Russellville, he would come over to see me 60 miles away. And we would, uh, he would encourage me and go back and tell people in Nashville what we were doing with our paper. And uh, he is one of the people who encouraged me not to leave Russellville, not to take a job back on a city paper, but to be my own person and to stay in Kentucky with these small papers. And that's, that's what I did.